Good morning and win today, children of God. May God bless you. Bless you, new subscribers. You are welcome. You are welcome. God love you more and more. I'm praying for all of you, even those who subscribe and those who yet are to subscribe. Those who are new, you are welcome. May God bless you. Those who are old, you are my people. May God bless you more and more. For following and honoring me, God is for you. And when God is for you, who can be against you? No one. Emmanuel to all of you. Win for day to day, forever and ever. Will the win the whole of your life. Keep on winning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, children of God, you are welcome again. I love you more and more. God loves you more than me. You are the creation of God. Do not forget. His image, he created you, and he shared breath in you. Therefore, who can conquer you? By your faith and removing the fear, you shall continue to, to conquer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God gave us, when I pray, Father God, it was a war, but we managed because of God's grace. The book of First Samuel 7, years. From verse 3. Samuel subdued the Philistines at Mizpah. First Samuel, remember there's first Samuel and second Samuel. First Samuel 7, starting from verse 3. Okay, let's close our eyes. Holy Spirit will welcome you. Abba Father, you are welcome. Come and take control. Remove all the blockages of darkness. The blockages of principalities that are fighting us every day. Open our hearts, your children's hearts. Disconnect every blockages. For us, for your children not to hear the Holy Spirit. For us, for your children not to hear the voice of God. For us, for your children not to hear the sounds of heaven and to be connected. We break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Break it, Father God, uproot it. Open our hearts and link it up to connect with the Holy Spirit. Let there be light in the hearts, the hearts of your children. We evoke the, your power of the Holy Ghost to release calmness in our heart. Calmness, fill our heart. Purge every unwanted darkness, evil forces in our heart that is grudges, anger, jealousy, father, non-perseverance. None loving ourselves, our families, our neighbors, and the children of God. Uproot it, wash us, Lord, our heart. Let us be, let us, our hearts be whiter than a snow, Lord. Do not cast away from our pre your presence. Bring joy, Father, the joy of your salvation into us. Wash us, Father, with high soap so that we can be clean. Blow every iniquities in our hearts, your children's hearts. Let there be calmness, I evoke the power of calmness. Calmness and resist satanic evil forces to come and torment us. Fill our hearts with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Remove anger and grudge and rage. Let there be light, touch us, Lord. Calmness in our hearts so that we can receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May God forgive us, Lord, so that we can, you can also be forgiven, children of God. May, Father, we remove all what is in our hearts in order to receive. May God uproot all darkness in our heart so that He can use our hearts in order to conquer darkness and wicked spirits. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Here are your children. Make a way for them. Make uh, our hearts, their hearts, to be your room, your home, your resting place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We adore you. As we read this word, Holy Spirit, let it be engraved in our heart in order to meditate with it. Holy Spirit, fill our heart. Fill our heart. Fill our heart with your word. Your spirit needs to be filled. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Children of God, back to our word. The way that we're given. Here's the word of First Samuel. First Samuel 1, verse 7. Holy Spirit, come and fill us. Spirit of the living God, come and fill us. From the book of First Samuel 7, verse 3. 
Samuel subdues the Philistines at Mizpah. We read it attentively, slowly, and repeatedly, children of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, children of God, let's start to read. It says uh, from verse 3, then all the people, before we read, remember Samuel was given to Mama Hannah when Mama Hannah couldn't bear children when she prayed and looked for the fruit of the womb. May God bless you all who want the fruit of the womb. May God open your womb to receive and give you a fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 3. Then all the people of Israel, 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 the heading says Samuel subdues the Philistines at Mizpah. Mizpah. Then all the people of Israel turned back to the Lord. So Samuel said to all the Israelites, If you are returning to the Lord with all your hearts, then rid yourself of the foreign gods and the Ashtoreth, Ash, Ash and commit yourselves to the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. We know, children of God, before we go further, that Philistines were known by their hardened hearts, treatment of treating children of God, all the people. He was, they were treating people, killing and doing evil. But Samuel is reminding the children of God that if, if they want to be helped by God, they have to remove to they have to re to, to 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 return to the Lord with all their hearts and to get rid themselves of the foreign gods and the Ashtoreth and commit themselves to the Lord and save him only him and they will deliver them out of the hand of the Philistines. So the Israelites put away their Baals and the Ashtoreths and said the Lord only. Their Baals and the Ashtoreths meaning all their gods. Remember the Israelites were famous about those. Even the time when they, they were released from the Egyptian. Even though Papa Moses was busy telling them that God wanted to do one, two, three, four. They didn't want, they were still grumbling that the, in other words, they were enjoying slavery. To say, you're supposed to leave us there 40 days, 100 days, 40 years, rounding, rounding. That we are not, we are suffering, hey, we are starving. We don't have water and the stuff. And then they turn immediately and start to draw their balls and start to worship the, the gods, the Israelites. They have hardened hearts. That is why when Father God and send them, or Ezekiel told them and prepared them that the people that I'm sending to you, even by Jeremiah, they are having hardened hearts. Those are the Israelites. So that's why Samuel is reminding them that take all your pals, all your uh, extorates and put it away and serve only God. Then you'll see. Then we will proof read, proof text and go to verse 12. On the same Verse 7. Then Samuel took a stone and sent it up between Mizpah and Shen, and he named it Ebenezer, saying, This far the Lord has helped us. What does it tell you? It tells you that when you go, because you'll be reading children of God from 3 and go to 5, after they did that and they fasted. And because Samuel was a leader and they were, the Israelites were listening to him. It's where the Israelites and Samuel will conquer the what? The Philistines. And then after conquering, Samuel took a stone, when we go to verse, verse 12, and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and he named it Ebenezer, meaning that the Lord has Help us. Because the Philistines has been 
conquered and subdued. So you see, children of God, it's very interesting. Just read it from the what does it give me? It tell me and you. It's us, children of God, our hearts and us. Our hearts and us, meaning our hearts and our behavior are blocking us not to receive from God. Our hearts and our behavior are preventing us not to receive from our God. That is our topic of today. So children of God, we can pray. That's what I told you every now and again. You can call me Mama Ruth, pray for me every day. But you have to first, child of God, work inside your heart. That's what Samuel now is telling the children of God, the Israelites. And they know that beloved children of God because Father God, Papa God, the creator of heaven and earth, love them most. But they can turn now and do the ball and create an idol and say, I'll worship this one. Gone are those days that will worship idols. Gone are those days that will put the pictures of our Mfundisi in the walls and say, Father, I even call him his name. Mm, do something. Calling him God. Gone are those days. We have to remove it. Like what the Israelites did after Samuel told them. The help come only from the Lord. And he says, I'm a jealous God. I don't want idols. I don't want pictures that you honor it. And I have a picture of, the, of a, a, a lion here. Then I started to say, I, Father God is a lion of tribe of Judah. Forgetting that a lion is an enemy. An enemy when you dream an enemy coming to chase you. And, to, and to, 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 to torment, to charge itself on you while you are asleep. The enemy, that lion is the enemy. Forgetting that the enemy is also a lion. And then I put this lion because it's right next to my altar. And then I said, hey, lion of tribe of Judah. Hey, hello, Father God. You are here. I can see you. You are looking at me because this lion is so huge and next to my altar. And then I even picture the lion fighting uh, my people. And then I'm starting to worship the lion. Mm -mm. Let's remove all like what Samuel said it. You want to be held, to be helped. You want God to intervene, to intervene in all your situation. You want to see the mighty God of hand, the mighty God, uh, God of uh, the mighty hand of God working in you, in all your problems. Remove all, everything that is not of God. Take it out down, children of God. While you remove it physically, remove it inside, in your heart. Children of God, let's wash our hearts. Why you want to suffer because of our hearts? Children of God, let's ask Father God to remove and wash our hearts. Let's open our hearts so that Father God can feel it. I told children of God that the past last month, when I was praying, after I was doing a prayer, I can't recall which prayer I was doing because there's a lot of videos here. Well, I, before I was praying, because always I prepare to ask Father God, what must I teach your children? Show me the weight. And give me wisdom to teach. Because I'm just your vessel. Mina, I'm just young in this field. I've got only uh, six months started to pray and do your work. I don't know. I need your guidance. So the, 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 later when he answered me, he said, because I was preparing for the, uh, the previous day, he said, my daughter, you are people that you are praying for. I can still see in their hearts. The problem is their hearts. They still anger. They have jealous for their families. They have anger inside. For their colleagues, their neighbors, their families. They have anger to their friends. They have jealousy. When their friends or their uh, 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 families receive something, they say, why, why not me? They are, they are bearing grudges. To their children and their family. They don't love one another. They lack love. It's not me. Holy Spirit was busy telling me all these things, children of God. 
He says they must clean their hearts so that I can dwell. When I dwell, they will never lack. I'm not a man that I can lie. They must forgive even those is so it's not easy to forgive. Let them remove all their hearts from all those anger and rage and all the traps that I'll trap him. I'll do this. Let them shed and clean and ask me to purify their hearts. Then I'll do what I will do. They will see the greatness of me and my father. He further says from there, they are attacked by foundational bondages. They are linked to all evil, wicked altars. They are tormented by soul ties. They are linked to all darknesses and evil forests, uh, forest and all the water marine and all the chains. That's what they don't receive. It's emanating from their hearts. They must open their doors and ask God to open the doors and link up my spirit with my father. So that Abba Father, I can come as Abba Father Holy Spirit to fill their hearts and work in them. Let them remember the poor. When the neighbor asks for something, they must stop to say, I don't have, knowing that they have. Give it to the, uh, to the, to the neighbor. Senior Prophet Tim Joshua used to say, what did you do to the, uh, to the neighbor that make the neighbor happy? Or a stranger that's going, smiling that you help him? But when you have, not that when you don't have, children of God. And when the neighbor asks, we have the cars to say, I'll give you this 200, but you have to pay me a 300 rand when it comes back. Father God, condemn it in the book of life, children of God. Why do we hate your enemy? It's not easy. Ask God that, Father, let me love the enemy, even if the enemy look for me from hate to two, to greet him when I pass him. But when the enemy doesn't want to answer you when you greet him, leave him and go and pray and say, God, I tried my best. I leave it to you. Do what you have to do. The book of law said it, for they shall be known for their spirit, the spirit of the truth. Let's change. Let people, let people, people of God, let people and our neighbors see that there's someone who's living in us. We are no longer living our life. Let's change and live the life of God. It's very hard what I'm telling children of God. Because most of us now, it's our neighbors, it's our, our families that are tormenting us daily. Most of us, children of God, is those who are our partners, our husbands. Those who are treating us to change our hearts. But cheer up, child of God, because he, he overcame the world. Greater is he who is inside you than the one that is rooming to destroy you in this world. Let's conquer through the faith and knowing that our Father is with us. Others are humiliated at work. You are treated and victimized at work. Go and cry because the tear will come. And when you reach home, say, Father, let your will be done. I cannot judge. I'm just a servant. You are the master. But they are tormenting me. They are victimizing me at work. I need your deliverance hand to take control. Papa God and Jesus Christ want us to do that. We cannot repay evil for evil. He condemned it. He is God. He will never lie. He's not a man. He's still sitting in his right hand. And always his time is the best. Know that when you pray the whole month and you say, Father God doesn't want to answer, I must go and go to the Hebels, to the Sangoma. So that he can help me. Now you are inviting darkness more and more. Devil will possess you. He will make you his slave. He will connect you and link you. When you wake up every day, you'll be tired. You will never rem remember. You will, you do, you will never dream in your life. 
At night he's riding on top of you. Making you a slave. Because now he owns you. You rather suffer. While you suffer in the Lord. Because your reward. Will be more higher than the one of Satan. The reward he will die. He will take his life. To go and make you a slave. In his kingdom. Children of God. Let's try. Not to have the hardened heart and not to forgive people who torment us. The book of life said it. When Papa God tell us prayer, it is a went and I said to his father, they will hate you like the way I, mean, I was hated. No one will listen to you when you try to prove yourself because I tried so many times to tell them who I am, but they call him a demon and other stuff. He said they will even persecute you to say you have said so and so, whereas you never said it. It's the serpents that are whispering in their ears to say you said one, two, three, four. Who will love you when you bear the marks, child of God? You bear the marks of his suffering on his back. And you bear the mark of the cross on your forehead. Who will love you? Others are asking themselves, I was having a friend, all of a sudden she doesn't want me. How can they love you who love Jesus Christ because it was only his disciple and his mother and his father and his father, the greatest father God up. So children of God, you have to hang in there Hang in there while you are crying in tears that they torment me, they torture me. But I know my Redeemer liveth. Children of God, not once. My son told me something that I didn't ever know that he, he can tell me. I, I couldn't. He told me I was resting after praying. Mama, Sometimes my heart is so sore when I look at you. And I say, why, my son? Mama, I know your heart. I was, Mama, thinking and previewing how many people you help. And every person that you help, Mama, they don't consider it. They don't care, Mama. Instead, Mama, sometimes they even undermine you and treat you like you are nothing. Then I told my son that, cheer up, my boy. It's because your mama chose the way of God. It's not easy, my son. But my Redeemer liveth. I'm praying that those who, who you saw and observed that are doing it, God must forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. He says, the father said, Mama, I know that it's because you love your God. You help them. Others you give your, their children pocket money every month you are giving them. But they don't care. They don't even not consider. Others are even lying that you are never giving them money. I said, it is well, my child. My Redeemer liveth. My reward comes from God. Your reward in all the suffering come, come from your Father in heaven. They can humiliate you. And curse you and call you names. Cheer up what is very painful. Go and pray in with your tears. Sometimes your words will never come out. Just call for the God. And call your Papa. He will come. He is your God. And I love you. He will make a way where there is no way. He's God. He's your King. Let's live that life, children of God. Knowing that your Redeemer liveth. It's hard. It's very hard. It's hard. But let's continue to carry the cross. And put and set our feet. Where our Papa's feet. Uh, set the feet. While he crossed the feet. He fell in every station. The cross was heavy. Rikesha. 
But inside, when he was tormented in the way, he was asked a lot of questions. He never answered like a sheep or a lamb that was ready by the owner. She came at her. to be slaughtered. Let's keep quiet. Even if it's hard not to answer. In our heart while we pray and say our Redeemer liveth. One prophet says, when they are tormenting me, Mama Ruth, when I can feel that they are sending all that darkness, Prophet is Ruth, through inside my heart, I call the Holy Spirit. I call my Father that are starting. Give me your wisdom. Make a way for me. That's one of the prophets of God. Through speaking through a faith inside, he said severally, I called him, Mama Ruth, I could feel that his heart, so that he can give me and speak with me and direct me, do this and take this. Take your anointing water, spray, do this. We have to speak with him. In times of trouble, Ikamesha, Nakamekika, Shatarabit. It's a hard children of God. Let's do what Samuel T said in the book of First Samuel 7 from verse 3. So that Father God can come and fight for us. Let's hang in there and call him to strengthen us in time of trouble. And continue to cheer up, knowing that he overcome the world. He will never forsake us. He's still God. He's still sitting. On the right hand of his father. He's still our Jesus. He's still our father. The Holy Spirit. Children of God. Holy Spirit we thank you. Let's pray children of God. Father here you are. When they touch their head. Touch their chest. Touch whatever. Their pain in their bodies. In their bodies Lord. Help them, Lord. Help them, Lord, to be strong in every weakness, Holy Father. Help them, Lord, to be strong. Their children, Lord, you created them, Abba Father. Ikana meshikata. Inaraka meshikata ka rata mesha. In every way where they are weak, Lord, strengthen them, Lord. When they face challenges, Holy Father, strengthen them, Lord, the strength that you are having when you carry the cross. When you fell several times, you stood up. That little strength that you are having, Lord, Father, when you fall down, my Messiah, give it to your children. Sita kame shi yoshua haba shia inarame nika shi kata mika nika nara kata tata 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 Touch them, O Lord. Touch them, Ebenezer. You are the helper in every situation. Every challenge that I come across, Lord. Blockages, Lord. Sickness, diseases, Lord. Viruses, afflictions. Bondages, curses, Ika Akabeka Shikata, 
Every bondage is, every challenge is, every curse is. Ikama kabi kabi kata ta ta. Nara be 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 pa 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 pa. Ti ta 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 ta. Mi ka 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 si. Ta 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 ta. Si sa 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 sa. Ina ra 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 me me mi ma na na ra ra. Ti ka 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 sa si. Eh sa ta ta. Rika, baby, baby, baby. Every case is. Every linkage. Internal, external chains. Every blockage is like mountains. They don't know where to look. Ipa, bika, bika, bia, ba, 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 ba. Mima, ba, 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 ta, 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 ta. Ti, ta, 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 ta. They don't know where to look, Lord. In every bondage is blockages. Every spirit of stealing, killing, destroying their families. Soul ties, bondages, witchcraft, demons of Satan that are tormenting your children, Lord. Blockages in every area of their lives, their families. In Arabe, yes, Lord. Rakamesha, nikameka shate tereke, takabeshika, tikesha, nikanda rakamesha, ta 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 ta, tekebeka na raka, nara mera, raka ta 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 ta. Break it, Lord. Break it, Lord. Break it, this color. In a hamashi. Nika, ka, 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 ka. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Break it, Lord. That's suffering. That's suffering, Lord, on earth. They've been cast. They've been humiliated. They've been tortured. They're so afraid even to sleep at night due to attack spirits and demons. Destroy them, Lord. I break those chains. They link them to serpents. They link them to demons. Break it, Lord. Disconnect your power, Lord. Any legal rights of darkness, legal rights of demons, that they did no learn and know to connect them to darkness. She was my shell. He came and he kaka kaka. He kapi kashi kati kaka. Kaka na be shat ta 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 ta. I be broke it, break it, lock, break it, lock. Disconnect it, total destroyed. Legal rights of darkness, the light of God. Holy Spirit, fill them, break the yokes, disconnect all darkness, infirmities, diseases, and tell us in our choice. Be broken and come out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bow the Holy Ghost. Descend, Lord. The power of the Holy Ghost. Anointing from heaven. The light of God. Disconnect, Lord. Shock me. Every darkness. Monitoring darkness. Hey, Keshi, darkness, family spirit, auditory spirit, tormenting his children. Take a me, Keshi, ta 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 Tit 
Ta 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 Oh Jesus Holy Spirit Kill Protect them for me, Lord. Protect them for me, Lord. Why they sleep with the go? In America, me come a Oh, Be protected.